Good morning, Wolves, and welcome to your Wellness Monday advisory lesson. Um, today, we are going to be doing an exercise all about um, using different parts of our brain. Um, but before we do that, we're going to go ahead and learn a little bit about the day of silence. Before we move into that, um, make sure that you have a piece of paper um, and something to write with. For our lesson today, you can also maybe use a computer. That's fine too. Um, but let's try and keep technology use low um, and focus on using maybe a pen or pencil and paper. Um, before we hop into that, uh, this Thursday, our Gender Sexuality Alliance Club will be sponsoring the Day of Silence. Um, for those of you that don't know, Day of Silence is a national youth movement highlighting the silencing and erasure of LGBTQ plus people in schools. Every April, students go through the school day without speaking, and then they end the day with the Breaking of Silence event to share their experiences during um, the protest and bring attention uh, to ways their schools and communities can become more inclusive. Um, this day of silence will happen on Thursday, April 21st. So this Thursday, we'll have an interactive art project in the Commons, and then we'll also do some Break the Silence events in GSA during Prep Academy lunch and Senior Academy lunch um, in room 345. If you want to participate, you can sign up in the Commons before school starts on 421. Um, which is this Thursday, and we'll sign up before school. If you are participating, you'll get a, a palm card, something that looks like this, that you'll be able to put on your desk that will alert your teachers that you're still participating in class, but you're just not participating verbally because you're in the, uh, participating in the day of silence. Um, so if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out to me or any of the students that are part of our GSA club as well. All right. So um, hopping into our lesson for today, in general, the more we use a particular part of our brain, the larger it becomes. Aspiring cab drivers have a lot of streets and routes to memorize in their training. A study found that the hippocampus, the part of the brain associated with learning and memory, increased in size after the training. Not surprisingly, the more experienced cab drivers had larger hippocampi than drivers new to the profession. In today's tool, we are going to strengthen our confidence when thinking about a stressful situation by writing three I am statements. Writing these I am statements may feel uncomfortable or weird for you, and that's normal. What's important is that you give this exercise a try because your brain believes what you tell it. We want to feed our brains as many positive things about themselves as possible. I invite you to join me in this practice. And at the end, we will reflect on our experiences in our advisories. However, during this tool, let's keep any opinions to ourselves so that everyone can have a fair chance to try it out. Since today's tool is writing based, go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a writing utensil or open up a new document on your laptop, whichever works best for you. And we're gonna go ahead and start today's activity by taking a few deep breaths. Go ahead and close your eyes or shift your gaze to the floor. Whatever is most comfortable for you. Go ahead and inhale through your nose for one, two, three, and pause, and then slowly exhale for one, two, three. Again, inhale through your nose, feel your chest rise, your belly expand. Pause. Now slowly exhale through your mouth and feel your belly deflate. And then last one, take the biggest inhale of your day for one, two, three, pause. 
and then slowly exhale through your mouth for one, two, three. Your eyes were closed. You can gently blink them open. And first, I just want us to think of a situation that typically causes you stress. For example, for me, it's definitely traffic. I'm driving to school and when there's traffic, that causes me some stress. So write down one stressful situation that you feel comfortable writing about right now. I'll give you about 30 seconds to do so. Why does that situation cause you stress? For me, traffic causes me stress because I don't like being late to things. You can bullet point as many reasons why the situation is stressful for you. I'll allow you to write for about 30 seconds. Advisors, if you want to pause the video, you can. Now we are going to write three I am statements to conquer that stressful situation. Your I am statements may not feel accurate, and that's sometimes the point. We can use I am statements to convince ourselves that we are those things when, in the moment, we may not feel that way. For example, when I am in traffic, I tell myself I'm safe. I don't feel safe, which is why I am using the statement. I tell myself this until I notice my body begin to release tension. Um, I also remind myself, I'm going to be on time. It's going to be okay. Or sometimes I remind myself, the only thing that matters right now is that I get to my destination safely. For the next minute, go ahead and write three I am statements to help you conquer your stressful situation. If you struggle to write three I am statements, channel your best friend or someone who supports you. What would they say to you or what would you say to them if they were experiencing stress? Advisors, go ahead and pause the video for about a minute to allow students to write. In your advisories, feel free to share your stressful situation in your I am statements. And you can hold on to this paper to remind yourself of your I am statements. You can also set your I am statements as a reminder on your phone or write them on smaller pieces of paper and type them, tape them to your phone case or somewhere else you look regularly. It's important that this work doesn't just stop in the classroom, but I hope you actually take it into your day. And so now that we've practiced this tool, let's reflect on our experience in advisories. Um, please feel free to share if this is something that you enjoy doing or where you might use this tool in daily life. And if you didn't like this tool, that's okay too. Um, remember, there are plenty of tools that we're going to be learning up until the end of the year, and it's okay if not every single one works for you. All right, everyone. Um, well, we hope you have an excellent week, um, and we'll see you again next time. Bye, everyone. Take care.